Hi everybody, this is Sherry and this is my December Daily from 2014. Get the glare off that a little. And this I was this was my very very first time doing a December Daily and I actually referred back to it several times when I was working on my sisters for um, placement and things and I did take glossy accents and go over the glitter paper because I saw that where I because I die cut these letters from a stampin up die I saw that the glitter was you know kind of a little loose on the edges where it cut so I put glossy accents over it and it held everything in there it's really nice and smooth none of the glitter has come off so I was real happy with that and this was the first day and because I had done it with the Christmas tree I knew that I wanted to put my Christmas tree up that day and that is one thing that I plan on changing I don't plan on putting my book together I plan on having my pages done but I don't plan on putting my book together until I am absolutely, you know, ready. And, or actually, not till actually I'm completed with my book. Because this way, I'm not, I don't have to put my tree up on this day. If I don't feel well, then I don't feel like, well, gee, if I don't do this, I've missed what I wanted to do that day. So, I'm going to make my pages and have my numbers ready but not put them on the page until after sorry I'm trying to get the glare off there a little bit until after I've you know had a chance to decide what I'm gonna do that day and what I feel like doing so here's day one and I just did one picture and journaled and I could have put um, another picture here but I didn't I don't know why and for some reason this feels really tight up against that and it never did before and see I should have moved my picture over further this was probably the funnest part about my December daily and here's where Mariah and Jesse decorated their Christmas trees Mariah has a pink one Jesse has a blue one he has all kinds of Florida Gator ornaments on his, and hers are all the little felt ornaments. And then here's my journaling spot and um, of what I did. It says I forgot to buy Mariah more ornaments, and guess what? I still forgot, so at least I have a chance to get the ornaments before that. But these were Christmas lists, and each one of them got, had a Christmas list. And I printed these out. I designed them and printed them out on my computer. And I want to read this one to you because this was my daughter Danae's. And she is, she was 23 when this one was done. And it says, um, it's her Christmas list. And it says, one, socks. Number two, a five foot tall statue of the Grinch made out of coal. Number three, books. See Amazon wish list. Four, a vintage truck, full size, not Hot Wheels. Five, frog wearing a Santa hat that eats flies. Movies, see Amazon wish list. A five pound gummy bear. A half pound York peppermint patty. A maid. And large quantities of money and small unmarked bills without dye packs, please. So she thought she was being funny, but she, I was so tickled that she participated with us in doing the list. And of course, Mariah and Jesse's had, you know, what they wanted. Jesse wanted two pages, but <laughs> I said, nope, just one. You only get one. And, uh, but it was, it was fun. And then here is day three. And day three, they put up their stockings. And mine was real simple. This year, I really want to you know I cut just about everything out of a paper pad that I had decided I was going to use the majority of it and um, but this year I want to take my Cricut and I want to cut out you know 
the things that I plan on putting on it and not really do so much. Do more of, I don't know how to put it, do more of um, things that I cut out myself, I guess. Make my own decorations and journaling spots and things. And here's where the kids put up their um, stockings. And this, Danae's birthday is December 4th, and her friends surprised her and brought her cupcakes, and she thought they forgot her birthday. And they worked so hard to surprise her, so it was, it was a really fun day for her. And she got her favorite dinner, and, and uh, it was just a really great day. And then, this is a Happy Meal that I got from Jen Callie and it's right here oh, I had the little clothespin oh I probably knocked it out I'll have to get it oh it's up there again I'll get it but I had the little clothespin that Jen sent with it and I took a picture of it and this is Danae stealing cookie dough and my husband stealing cookie dough see there's a reason I make four or a quadruple batch but I saved that from Jen because I just thought that was so pretty. And here's Mariah. There's my pen or my clip. That wasn't my clip up there. Oh, well, I don't know what is it, that is up there. But here's my journaling spot. And I just made little pockets for it to slip into. Here's Mariah, the day she and I made chocolate chip cookies. And there's her taste testing it. And that's day six. So I made it real simple and then here's day seven and this is one of the teens from our church she came over and she helped Danae make Mariah's favorite which is chocolate covered pretzels and um, and then this was day eight and Jesse and I made his favorite which was the M&M cookies and, of course, he was more than willing to be my taste tester. And here's my little journaling tag. And there's room in here for more stuff had I wanted to put it there. And then here's day nine. And this is this was my pastor's wife and a lady from our church. And then there's me. And then there's the journaling inside here for uh, a women's ministry thing. And this is my goddaughter, Jessica. And she came over and we made her dad's favorite peanut butter cookies. And some was for us and some was I sent, of course, home with her. And just added a little bit of washi across the bottom. And I wish I had made my thing smaller, my card, so it could have sat over here. Because I like that you can see through that um, I put acetate behind it so you can see through it and see the other snowflake. But when you, I slide my journaling card in, it covers it up. So that's something to keep in mind. And then um, this is a day 11. And I actually put the picture in here. And this is the day that we had a fire in the fireplace and Mariah and Jesse were roasting hot dogs and marshmallows for dinner that day. And this is actually an old Stampin' Up! Um, package that their dyes, Chalk Talk, their dyes came in. And this is a um, punch, a stocking punch from Stampin' Up! And here's day 12 and Danae went to what we call the Johnston's annual freeze your butt off camp out because they camp out every year in December because we live in Florida but this year last year it got so cold there was ice on the inside of the tents that Danae slept in and then here's the little tab and I used um, my Stampin Up punch for that and then there's the girls at the camp out and then here is my church's Christmas um, dinner and then there's pictures here and here and then journaling on the back and here is um, the church's Christmas program and there's my husband with a speaking part and the kids for the manger scene and that's my daughter in the middle singing which she sings amazing by the way and I journaled 
in the on the back of that and so I'm doing good right I'm doing good I'm getting every day done printing them off on my computer so I was doing good but I'm not going to do good much longer <laughs> All right, here we are at day 15, and it was a rough day for the wolf women. Um, Danae had to see a cardiologist, and she had to wear a monitor for a month, and then Mariah had to have a CT scan with contrast, and she gave, they gave her a purple Band-Aid, and she kept that thing on all day until I realized that her fingers were, like, turning purple because she had they had it so tight, and she didn't want to take it off. She wanted to wear it to school. The next day so she could get sympathy and uh, but we put a regular band-aid on and we shot for sympathy that way and this is our countdown calendar and so she's showing you that there's nine more days till Christmas and this is where Jesse volunteers at the police station and this is Captain Daly who Jesse just thinks you know is the greatest and it was his birthday, so Jesse made him a card and took it to him, and Danae got a picture of them together. And there, of course, is where I journaled and just some washi tape on the bottom. Okay, there's where it all ends. And I did journal when I got back, but I had forgotten to take the book with me. And... I don't think I'll ever forget that day anyways. I got the scariest phone call of my life. And it was my son calling to say that they had went to the doctor's office, you know, for Marquette's checkup because she was pregnant and Azrael was due any day. And um, they couldn't find his heartbeat. And my son was just in about sheer panic. And he said, can you come, Mom? Please come. Come now. And I said, I'm on my way. I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm on my way. Well, we were about halfway there. And Zachary called. And they had taken Marquette to the hospital. And they found the baby's heartbeat. And everything was okay. And he said, are you still going to come, Mom? And I said, well, I'm halfway. I said, do you want me to come? And he said, would you please? He said, I'm scared to death. And I said, I'll be there. And um, so I left. And left my book. And left my camera. Left everything. And so I've got a bunch of blank pages after that. Where... You know, I had planned on putting more stuff, and here's where I was going to journal on this page. And and then here was day 25, and um, journaling spot, and place for pictures, and all that stuff. And, um, and needless to say, no pictures to go in it. But um, Azrael was born. On December 26th, Marquette went into labor on Christmas morning, but didn't have him till uh, 6 o'clock on September 26th. And um, it was that uh, she tried to have him natural, but he was too big, and they ended up taking him cesarean. And he will be a year old next month. And I'm excited because we will be there in December for his first birthday. So, and she's going to do it at the beginning of the month because she figures people will be busy on December 26th and stuff. So, you know, I'll get to put it in my new December daily for 2015. And, um, but I hope you like it. This, like I said, was my very, very first one. And I didn't do a lot of decorating. I didn't do a lot of um, the different things that I'm hoping to do this year. And I'm hoping that my sister likes hers very simply. And then possibly, you know, if she likes it the simple way that maybe after, you know, she does this year, she'll want 
you know, she'll want another one and want it to be, you know, more elaborate. So, we'll see. But I know I had fun doing it for her, and I hope that she likes it. So, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember, eat healthy and happy crafting. Bye.